A man who was recently named the headmaster of Dubois Central Catholic Schools is fired, and school officials say it is because he wasn't who he said he was. Devin Clark has been on this story all day and discovered the man who was hired to lead that school district is a controversial school leader from New York. Devin? Jen, school officials say that Frank Mario Bella wasn't who he said he was, and that's why they fired him from Dubois Central Catholic Schools. Now, that is according to an official statement from the school, but I uncovered some controversial details of his past. Who is Frank Mario Bella? He was announced as the headmaster of Dubois Central Catholic Schools in early December. The school posted this picture and announcement of his hire on their Facebook page. And then last week, an announcement from the school that he was fired. What more can you say? That he did misrepresent himself uh, in the sense that we knew nothing of his past. A source tells me that Frank Bella is actually Frank Borzellieri, a man who was recently at the center of controversy while running a Bronx school in New York. Borzellieri is the author of several books and blogs known for controversial views on race relations. I found this website that lists his books. A quick check of the internet turned up multiple articles, some by national media outlets written about Borzellieri. He appeared to be uh, whatever normal is, uh, in, in normal. He, on paper and in the interviews that we had with him, he seemed to have the qualifications, uh, the experience. The school had discovered that Bella and Borzellieri were the same man after he started the job. After Bella got the Dubois position, he moved here into the rectory at St. Catherine of Siena Church, sharing residences with Father Richard Seifer. Mr. Bella lived with me since uh, the end of November. He since has moved out. Seifer says in his two months with him, Bella never shared his views that seemed as controversial as Borzellieri's writings. I was stunned, that's the appropriate word. And uh, as it became, uh, as he unfolded it to me, uh, I was even more stunned. So how was he able to hide such a questionable past? Well, I'm told by sources that he legally changed his name to Bella, but we're still working on confirming that. And the president of Dubois Area Catholic School says that they are in the process of finding someone to replace Bella, and he wanted to add that Bella's termination was not the result of any incident where student or staff were in danger. We're live from Dubois, Devin Clark, 6 News.